Hello, welcome. In this video, we're going to be computing equity in a home, and we'll look at this problem in detail. So let's get started. Before we solve with these exact numbers, let's remind ourselves that equity tells you essentially how much of your property is owned by you, right? What dollar amount that is, because you want to look at the difference between the market value of the property, how much is it worth, how much would you sell it for, but you want to take away anything you owe on that property, so the amount of debt you have or the amount owed. You still owe that amount that you haven't paid off yet, so that's not part of uh, your share of that property. You take what it sells for and subtract away your debts, and that is your equity, right? So this is, this is our guiding formula right here equity, this is what it is. So we want to find these things. And th in this problem, we have enough information to do that. So let's go through it. Sadie and Jeremiah bought a house five years ago for this amount, $244,000. They put 38% down. Since they first bought the house, their payments have reduced their debt by no, $18,714.80. Houses in their area have been appreciating at 5% per year. Yay for them. Compute their current equity. Round your final answer to the nearest cent. Wow. So there's a lot to think about, right? So first of all, let's look at the down payment when it says they put 38% down. So that means uh, the original price of the house, we want to find what was their down payment. So we take 0.38 and multiply it by 244000 this will equal the down payment on the house. Let's find out what that is. So um, we have 0 0.38 times 244,000. And we get 92,720. $92,720. I want to double check because I'm a little tired. 92,720. There it is. Okay. So they put down quite a bit of money on their house. This is their down payment. This is their down payment. So that's the cash they put down on their house. Now, if they were to turn around and say, and that's, let's say, oh, that's all they owed on the house, and I said, what's their equity at that point? It's just the two hundred and forty-four thousand, the value that they bought it for, minus um, their remaining debt. So you would do, you'd find out what that is. You do two forty-four minus. 92,720, whatever that number is, that's money they still owe, take it away from uh, their market value, and you should get 92,720, right? Because they only own, at that point, at the point of purchase, what they paid down on that house. That's that part of the house that they own, essentially. That's their equity. So in the beginning, down payment is equity. It's the amount you put down. Great. Moving forward, what do we do next? Well, we want to find out how much debt do they still have to pay, right? Well, they want to find their loan amount, so let's do that. So 244000 minus their down payment. The difference that's left over, that is a loan that they have to take out, right? They have to get a loan out on that amount to pay it off, unless, I guess, I'm not sure if there are other ways, but this is the most common way. You would then take 92720 you still owe this much. This is the amount you owe. It takes away from your equity on the house. 151 to 80. 151 to 80. Now this number right here is how much you owe. This is the oh, how much they owe, excuse me. This is the amount owed. Um that's at least at the start. But things happen over time. Things happen. So what happens over time? In this case, they pay their mortgage. It's for five years. And we learn that over time, over that time, for whatever reason, um, we don't know if we don't know the exact circumstances, they've paid off this much of their debt. So this is the amount owed at the start. Now let's find out how much they owe after we subtract away right, the amount that they have reduced their debt. So the amount owed, that's their debt, we start taking away this number. So it's 151,280 minus 18,714.8. So 
So so I have that number, 151, 280. I just want to subtract 18, 71, 4.8. So subtract 18, I already forgot it, oh boy, 18, 714.8. 714.8. Now this tells me how much we still owe. 132,5652. 132,565.2. This is their current debt. This is their current owed, I'll say. And these are both debts right here. You still owe this. Okay. Now you can't just take the value that they bought the house for and subtract the, the this current amount owed to find their equity because their house has gone up in value. This 5% really helps them because you take the 244 and we're saying, well, you could sell it each year since then at 5% more than they bought it for at the start or the year before, 5% each time. So whatever that starting market value was after the first year, multiply it by 1.05. And you're going to keep multiplying by 1.05 for each of the years that have passed since then. So that's to the fifth power, right? And that will tell you what is now worth today. So 244, so 244,000 times 1.05 each year. First year, second year, third year, fourth year, fifth year, and then that. So instead of multiplying by five times, I'll just raise it to the fifth power. And you can see it's gone up quite a bit, $311,412.70, essentially. But I'm not going to round that. I'll leave that. So I'll say about 300000 This is the current market value. I'm going to leave the real value on my calculator. This is the current market value. OK, now let's see if we can look at our formula. To find the equity, we take the market value today, the current market value, and subtract the amount owed. Do we have that information? Yes. We have the current market value, and we subtract the current amount that we owe on it, and that will tell us our equi equity. So let's do that. So here's the current amount that it's worth. Just press subtract because we have the answer in there. And we want to grab that 132 right here. We still owe that, and here's our equity, $178,847.50. So um, our current equity is, oh boy, 178847. 178847 and 50 cents. You want to round to the nearest cent, and that's it. I hope that helped.